Welcome in everyone, I'm Matt Seneca. This is our employee engagement video series and today we have Wendell Ambry. Wendell, thank you for joining us. First of all, you've been with us for 23 years at Webco, huh? Yes. Wow, very impressive. So, um, and you're also, you also have done in the past, you've done some prison ministry as well. Yes. Can, you, can you speak a little about that as far as how you got into that? Well, first of all, I'm from Baltimore and my wife and I, were separated and divorced for almost eight years. And the Lord brought us our marriage back together. He reconciled us. And so from then on, we we purposed in our heart to uh, serve him. So we do volunteer work. Some of it was feeding, some of it was prison ministry, and some of it was working at juvenile, working with other ministries that do that. I see. So that's how we got involved in that. That's that's a great service to get involved in. Absolutely. So, th well, first, thanks for thanks for doing that. <laughs> very very important service. Um, when working in, how many years and how many years have you have you done that for? You said I, I didn't pick that up. Well, I want to say that I started down at the jail around about oh three or oh four. Okay. And then maybe a year or two after that, I went to Raider, started going out there also. Mm. And uh, it right. was strictly volunteer going out the radar. That was the most challenging part because I was dealing with younger people who were angry for a, very, for a bunch of different reasons. So, right. But I um, had to develop a relationship with them so they could trust me. So once I developed that relationship with them, then the uh, Bible studies went better. So, uh, and then how, what kind of like? Able to baptize a couple, couple guys while we were out there too. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then, so you, as as the Bible start study would start, would you would you noticeably see kind of a growth in these in these younger people? Well, there were some would come and go in mm -hmm. the system, but the ones that that I saw on a regular basis, yes, I did see a change because for so long many of them have been neglected here and there. And that's why it took a while for me to do, for them to develop a trust in me. Sure. It would be in their lives and out of their lives. And uh, some of them thought the only families they ever had was gangbanging. Mm. So I was showing them that that wasn't a good alternative. And uh, I was showing them the love of Christ and developing that with them. And the more they saw me, the more they believed in what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Not just what I was saying, what I was illustrating them through what we were studying. And then do you, do you keep in touch with some of these people still, or? Well, I haven't been able to recently. Some of them right. were, were from all over the state, and some of them, you know, so mm -hmm. when they left, some of them did well and, and got out. Some of them are repeat offenders and end up after being juveniles, they become adults, and they got into the adult system, so right. that's the juvenile portion of it. Right. Now, the, 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 the prison portion of it, uh, was down at David L. Moss. That's where I did the Bible studies. My wife and I did Bible studies down there at David L. Moss. And we would go down there every week and uh, we would deal with different subject matters in the Bible. And most of it, we were teaching them that incarceration wasn't just a physical thing, it was a mental thing. We're showing them that how all people make mistakes and that they that they had worth. That's the main thing I was teaching them, that people have worth and people make mistakes. And um, the mistakes can become teachable moments. And you can take those mistakes and turn them around. And those mistakes can end up blessing you if you take that mistake and turn it around because it will spin you in another direction that you should go in. Well said. Absolutely. That's that's uh, I think that's kind of where growth begins is when you kind of when you kind of feel like you're worth something. So showing somebody that. I could see it could be the start of that. So that's that's great. Um, and actually, that's that about does it for the interview. I mean, that's that was a couple minutes. Really good stuff. So uh, thank you again for joining us, Wendell. I hope I was of some help. Absolutely. Absolutely you were. So keep keep doing the good work out there. Yeah, it's, I'm commanded to. It's not, not something I, I can't drop the ball with it. He's delivered me from so many things that I owe him. So I keep on doing it. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing that. And thank you, everybody, for joining us again this week. Uh, keep tuning in and liking and subscribing, sharing all these videos. 
uh, to get to know your coworkers here at Webco and PJ2. Thanks again.